It's perhaps been a while since we've caught up with our Sophia. Well, if you remember, she passed her scout initiation with flying colors and was immediately thrown into the thick of a sea rat invasion on her village, Lily Grove. She made her way through the village and to the Catholic homes, where she bravely saved some locals from the rat clutches. But then came Scum Snout. He was a nasty were if ever there was one. One of Clooney's own commanders, sent to pillage the countryside before Clooney himself came for Red Wall soon after, in the summer of the late Rose. Scum Snout and his sea rats wrought havoc on the little village. And Sophia's own betrothed, Liam, was bitten by the monster's poisonous maw. Infections soon flared. But Sophia had a mission first, straight from Captain Robin himself. Get to the Lyric Grove Lighthouse and light it. That would warn the surrounding countryside of the attacks and call for much-needed reinforcements. Scum Snout chased her the whole way, but Sophia was too crafty for him. She reached the lighthouse just in time, and as Scum Snout pursued her to the top, he was blinded by the lighthouse's beam, and his mighty tail knocked Sophia off her feet and sent her falling out of the window to a perilous fate. George, brother Jethro, you sure have put together a fantastic midsummer play. The rehearsal looked just magical. Oh, 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 well, it would have been even more so had you waited to sneak a peek until its debut tomorrow night. Can you blame us? We heard that music and we just had to take a look. Oh, uh... We do believe it be too tempting to ignore her. I can't wait to see the rest of it at the festival. If I'd known you were such a storyteller, Brother Jethro, I'd have come south sooner. Well, Captain Barker, I'm only passing the tale along. I've heard you've got an exciting tale about Finn and Fiona. <laughs> oh, Brother Jethro, if you keep letting the boy have his nightmares, never are my remedies going to work. Nightmares? Oh, I caught him in the library, grabbing at that spyglass of yours again. Might have cracked his noggin had I not gotten there in time. I'm I'm sorry, Grandfather. It's just... Uh, I can't sleep. Mum and Dad keep fighting. Uh, and Sophia falling off the lighthouse. Grandfather, you never told me what happens next. Well, William, your eyes could hardly stay open last night. I'd have been a terrible grandfather if I hadn't let you sleep. But, but, but Scum Snout and Sophia, she can't have been hurt. She's, she's too important. Oh, little William, you've grown quite fond of Sophia, eh? Uh, I mean, she's a great warrior and she, she fights so hard for Liam. She reminds me of Mom. Well, I guess Jethro will have to finish the story then. Yes, please. All right, all right, very well. Let's continue. But where were we exactly? Sophia was running away from Scum Snout. She'd been knocked out of the lighthouse, but she wasn't. Surely she didn't. She'd saved Lily Grove with her courage, remember? With the lighthouse lit, reinforcements throughout Mossflower would come to their aid. But her success came at a great price. Falling through the night air, Sophia wondered if her journey to the dark forest was finally upon her. Luckily, Martin had more use for her yet. We just gonna dust ourselves off, you know. Falling from a <clears throat> lighthouse that's. Oh, my head. It's the sound of battle, that is. But who are the rats fighting? I thought the villagers fled. So, yeah, of course, we're just gonna dust ourselves off from a building that's, uh, you know. <laughs> like a 
thousand times as big as ourselves. <laughs> oh, and uh, I am just uh, short on a uh, few... <coughs> oh yeah, this is the map where you ran. Uh, but yeah, I'm missing a few things, otherwise I have everything. And um, if you play the uh, first, uh, the Act One, Act One, then uh, you know that Sophia is the um, yeah. That's where we fell from, you know. <laughs> yeah, we we are gonna dust ourselves, so we we are fine. But anyway, yeah, Sophia is the um, is the canon uh, playthrough. Ten toes. That freebie. <coughs> and as we remember, when it was uh, we playing a Liam. Do my eyes deceive me? <laughs> Sophia, you scamp! You're alive. In fur and surprisingly in one piece. Ah, a bit of my charmed luck must have rubbed off on you. <laughs> now come on, there are rats to flee. It's a uh, tosser that. Uh, you know, <coughs> that's uh, fighting back there. So, um, yeah, it, it changed depending on who you play as, and that's about the only difference there is. Mm. Thank you, Sophia. I'm grateful to see you alive and well, and I'm sure Liam will be too. Liam's here? Is he alright? Liam's waiting for us at the dock. He's alive, but I fear his health is waning. There should only be a few vermin left now. Let's dispatch them quickly and meet up with Liam as soon as possible. <laughs> he didn't even bother going the proper way. Run back to your little mousey hole, you mousey. Take that one first. Second. Why, thank you, Sophia. Those two were giving another run for our honey, that's for certain. Are you two all right? All right? All right? You've got to help me twice tonight. Oh, you're making me look bad, Sophia. Come on, you two. Robin fed to me to put the dock. <laughs> and there's Liam. His fever's <clears throat> getting worse, Sophia. I fear we don't have the resources to help him here. But you've lit the lighthouse, and because of that, more defenders are being rallied from the woods. Well done. Oh, thank you, Captain Robin, but what are we going to do about Liam? He's getting worse by the minute, and Scumstout is still up on the lighthouse. We can't stay put. That's why we've prepared the boat for you here. Take Liam across the bay to Old Moss Creek and make your way to the Winsome Wraith. Winsome Wraith? Captain! But isn't that... Stoats, yes. One of whom is my oldest friend and the best healer you'll ever meet on this side of Redwall. Find Valo Scrimpaw. Tell him Robin sent you and he'll help Liam. I'm sure of it. Valo. Anything we need to champ. discuss... Let's be sure to discuss it now. We may not see each other for a while. The lighthouse? Do you think it's like to be enough? Enough scouts and woodland warriors are rallying together to fend off scum snout sea rats. For now. You've done exceptional scouting, Sophia. I was right to think you were ready for your scouts initiation. <coughs> Thank you, Captain. For my initiation, I thought I was more than ready to be a scout. But when I saw the Weirits face to face, I was so scared. And I realized the difference between you and me. You take the next step forward despite being scared. I did that too, for the first time ever. Because before I'd never had to. 
Not really. Do you think that means I'm ready to be a scout? Yes, Sophia. I think that's exactly why you're ready to be a scout. Being brave isn't about not being scared. Bravery can't exist without fear. Courage is about taking a step forward, even though every bone in your body is shaking. Thank you, Captain Robin. I'm going to keep growing braver and braver, for Liam and for the scouts. I'll do my best not to let you down. Uh, we're, gonna, we're not gonna talk about everything, but... Uh... If I might ask, Captain, what exactly is the Winston Wraith? No worry about Liam, I've only He's heard fine. about it in stories, back as a dibbon in Lily Grove. Always the story described as something... different. Stories passed among mice do tend to take their own form. What was it you heard? One tale said it was a massive Corsair ship, gifted to the ferret warlords Swart Sixclaw by the Wraith. They say to this day, the Wraith haunts the ship's halls. <laughs> story gave me nightmares for weeks. <laughs> Dibbin certainly have quite the imagination. <laughs> You're right that it is a ship, Sophia. Once a Corsair ship that sailed the seas, crafted by sea rats. It came to rest on the river south of Redwall, likely during the reign of Queen's Armina at Kotir. Now, with the river mostly dry, it sits. It serves as the home of Valo Scrimpaw and his two stotlings. A lovely place, really. Quite warm and cozy. Aye, cozy. And nothing could be cozy with stoats around. Eh, we're not gonna... Head to the <clears> road <throat> when you're ready to push off. Talk to Frey, we haven't talked to him. You did a great no. job lighting the lighthouse, Sophia. And beating Scum Snout. And saving Liam. Oh, you know, Laban and I weren't too sure you were ready for your initiation tests. But I suppose you proved us wrong. <laughs> oh, um, no offense. To tell you the truth, Freyby, it was terrifying. Uh... Liam is in bad shape. I'm worried. But all he does is make jokes. Aye, uh, Liam has always been a card. You know, the night before Liam's initiation, me, him and Laban snuck out into the woods. <laughs> and we found some toads asleep on their lily pads. One of them was Laban's friend, Groki. I guess they've got a prank war going on between each other. So, we snuck up behind them and started shouting and waving sticks around, pretending to be a night boogie. <laughs> Except Groki's mum got all mad and the whole knot chased after us. We were running and Liam got stuck in the mud. And oh dear, Martin me, I think those toes just about speared us with their tridents. <laughs> Did Liam tell you that? No, he didn't. <laughs> Freebie, I know comedy is something important to Liam, but oh, can you teach me how to tell a good joke too? Sophia, you have come to the right mouse. To let you in on a little secret, I'm the best jokester in all the country. So go ahead, give me your best joke, and I'll see how I can help. Okay, um, oh, my grandmother used to tell my sisters and me this one. What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? What? No, that's the joke. What's the joke? The question's the joke. I, um, <laughs> I think you may need more teaching than I can give, Sophia. All right. <clears throat> uh, I think these two are kind of the same, so... Uh... But yeah, you get nothing. Hello, Laban. It's so good to see you well. All these rats are giving us quite a run for it, aren't they? They sure are, for fear. But you sure gave old Scumf now to run as well, you did. Did you hear Captain Robin is sending Liam and me to the Winston Wraith? Yeah, it was he like says a two stoat friend away. of his is fit to heal Liam. A stoat. Stoat's no good at healing. Well, I don't know. But stoats are vermin. Isn't that enough to stay away? Can't vermin choose to do good, just as well as a woodlander can choose to do bad? Have you not seen the chaos and destruction these rats have spread to our home? I once had a friend who was a vermin. You had a... vermin friend? 
A fox kit when I was a wee dibber, aye. You were friends with a fox? Aye. We played some while he and his mum were passing through. Well, a dibbon is one thing. A grown vermin is another. He didn't want any trouble. Just wanted to play. Well, I still don't feel comfortable bringing Liam to vermin. Whether Robin trusts them or not. Well, <coughs> we should get Liam into the rowboat. Onward to the Winsome Reef, I suppose. Take care, Sophia. All will be well. Alright, so... Remember how... Oh yeah, here's another thing. Uh, Sophia is a bit on the other shoulder. And... Uh, <laughs> uh, here's a picture of how... Uh, I hope I can find it. Uh, somewhere, somewhere. But there. It's a picture of how... Uh, Sophia looks when uh, she is bitten. And uh, here's uh, Liam when he's bitten. How are you feeling? Well, I'm alive, thanks to you, Sophia, my love. Had you not found me, I'd have been wrapped for her by now for sure. But how are you feeling, Liam Rivermouse? I'll never feel as wonderful as that moment I laid eyes on you at the namesake dance. Not until our wedding day. Oh, Liam, your fever is worse than I thought. <laughs> I solemnly swear, Sophia, I made that I am perfectly lucid. Who do you think is gonna die this, the moment you blow air down their neck? <laughs> the moment you just a little too hard. As you get to the riverbed, I'll fetch you some herbs, and down, and mushrooms, your favorite, and anything else that I can find to make you more comfortable. All right? Be sure to fetch some honeysuckle too. Honeysuckle? Why? Because it's your favorite. Oh, don't be thinking about <laughs> me right now, Liam Rivermouse. It's you we need to be taking care of. Mm, and because honeysuckle has excellent healing properties, remember? And, of course, it's good for giving to pretty mouse maids before her wedding day. <coughs> All Lily Grove traditions. Oh, right. Of course. Boys, what about the wedding, aren't you? Well, what else have I got to look forward to? In a lifetime with you. I think they may have done a better job on showing just how bad Liam is looking than uh, with Sophia. Sophia kind of looks more... Uh, I don't know, Liam takes his home on this. I'm ready to go whenever you are, Soph. Maybe because just it's... Let me uh, just my short... Ow, ow. Oh, but be careful, Liam! Yeah, that, the last... Uh, you just saw her. That's that's like the worst she ever looks. So uh, maybe it's because uh, Sophia's playthrough is the canon one. Are you ready for an adventure, Liam? I suppose I'd better be. Oh, and Sophia, Tassa is ahead of you on her way to the Winsome Wraith as well. Huh? What business does she have with stoves? She's carrying with her a special key known as the Tangram, but I fear the rats know about it. Or at least they know it could be valuable to them, and they're right. We can't risk them finding it, which is why it must be delivered safely to the hand of Valo Scrimpaw. It'll be safe with him. Go now then, and get Liam to the Winsome Wraith. I might fail this. Practicing your scout's cool, are you? Oh, of course. Having a whistle coat is one of my favorite things about being a scout. Don't forget the rhyme. Once to follow, twice to come. Thrice for danger, four times none. What are you holding up, my love? How many whistles? Oh, you know me. I'm always fine. Yeah. Right. I suppose I'm not totally fine. Everything just seems to be happening so fast. This fever's got me a bit muddled. I keep thinking about what the dark forest might be like. But that's just me being silly. I'm sorry, Soph. I don't want to burden you with this. Liam, we aren't going to die. And you aren't a burden. Well, thanks. Sophia had never seen her Liam like this. She desperately wanted to make him feel better. But how? What well, could lift his spirits? She knew Liam above all else cared about his community and his relationships. There were few things more important to him than that. 
Perhaps this knowledge could help her find something encouraging to say. Don't worry, my love. We're in this together. Thanks, Soph. I'm glad I have you. I just hope the others back at Lilygrove are all right. They have each other, and that's what matters. There's no better team than the scouts of Lilygrove. Uh, you're right, of course. We've got to keep moving forward. And what about us? Do you think we'll meet any more rats along the way? I feel bad for the rats, actually. What kind of friends can you have with that kind of life? Oh, Sophia, your perspective on life is why I love you. I hope Tuss was as cheerful as you right now. I feel a bit worried for her traveling all alone. Don't threaten me. No scout is really ever alone. We're all in this together. Indeed. The Tangram's got to get to safety. I suppose we'll see her once we reach the Winsome Wraith. I do wonder if they're as friendly as Captain Robin made them out to be. Even if they're not, we can resolve to be friendly, can't we? You're absolutely right. I just hope the journey there isn't too long. Oh, I hate to be a burden for you, Soph. I love you, Mia River Mouse. You can never be a burden. Oh, <laughs> Sophie. I do love you. I'm just glad that when this is all over, we'll finally get to be married. Ah, well, managed. Right. We've got a wedding to plan. Oh, what a wonderful day that will be. Uh, but look, we're just about at the shore. Those paddles, you can just beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> like, what's that? <laughs> Fish. <laughs> there, dinner served. Hey. I smell a campfire, to the north. If we head up river, we can find it and make camp. About how far would you say the campfire is, Sophia? Damn, he looks Not better. Not too far. Can't you smell it? Sure, sure, of course. It's just a little hard to pay attention to my nose. Are you hurting that bad? No, no. I'm completely fine. Liam, you don't sound fine. I'm just a bit slow going. Lead the way, milady. <coughs> All right. I think I have everything here except one lord, but we're gonna bother with that. What an odd place to leave crates. Are you alright? Come on. Oh, it's trouble. And I have never used that log, so... I wonder how the other scouts are doing. <coughs> Damn, I can't be on that recently. There we go. Liam ain't coming. All right, that's enough. Liam, I know you're not fine. Please, what can I do to help? Okay, you're right. Sophia, I... I can't keep screwing up and over this rough terrain like you can. Maybe there's another way. You could go on ahead and find a better path. No, 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 absolutely not. I am not leaving you here. What if the rats send a scouting party? It's, it's only a matter of time before... My love, we don't have any choice. Scout ahead like the scout you are. Find a proper path, then come back and lead me through it. Um, uh, uh, perhaps I could be of assistance? Who's there? Show yourself! My, my. I, I beg your pardon, young scout. I had no intention of alarming you. Alfred, what in the name of Martin are you doing out here? 
I fled with a group of woodlanders from Lilygrove, but alas, I was separated from them in all the hullabaloo. Looking sharply dressed, old friend, considering the circumstances. <laughs> Typical. Oh well, a tailor can't change his stripes. Now can he? But what about you, dear Liam? I'm sorry to say you're not looking quite your best. If I overheard correctly, you were having troubles. Yes, well... Actually, yes. We are having a bit of trouble. I'll say. Okay, you're right. Sophia, I... I can't keep scurrying up and over this rough terrain like you can. Maybe there's another way. You could go on ahead and find a better path. Hold on. I was going to suggest the very thing, my good mouse. Oh, very well. But Albert, keep an eye on my Liam while I forge a way forward. And both of you, I promise to shout for me if a leaf so much as rustles suspiciously. I will come running faster than a weevil on rye. <laughs> Absolutely, my dear. Fair's fair. You have my word. Now go on. Get scouting. Jeez, he's bleeding a lot. I think he's bleeding more than Sophia does, actually. Either, either that or the blood on Sophia is you know, underneath the jacket. Perhaps we'll come across more <gasps> I do hope so, young scout. And we're just gonna do his little task here, and then we'll be going. Is that Sophia I made? What in the name of Martin are you doing all the way out here? Hello, Mr. Star Thistle. I could ask the same of you, couldn't I? Well, I suppose so. But once those rats invaded my study back in the Lilygrove catacombs, I didn't have much choice but to leave while I still had my skin. Who's going to treasure the history of this world if not for me, eh? Speaking of treasure... You didn't happen to find my Star Thistle family amulet on your journey, did you? Star Thistle family amulet? I don't believe so. I did, but I can't I open hid a the chest. amulet a while back, along with a trail of riddles to find it again. It's so valuable, I can't leave it out in my study in case someone loots it like those blasted vermin did. But now that the rats have invaded our home, I'm worried <laughs> sick one of them may find it. I'm sure I'm just being paranoid, but if you happen back to Lilygrove and come across one of my riddles, please do keep it safe, won't you? You could use it in the meantime. I bet it'd be rather helpful for a scout on the road. When you wear it, it helps your sniffer sniff better by letting you use active scent while moving. Oh, that certainly would be helpful. Though, is black in Lilygrove, you say? Aye, so you'd have to go back to find it. Maybe even back in time. Back in time? What? Uh, yeah, yes, I I'm not sure how you'll do that, though. While you're here, do you think you might do me a favor? I've been trying to figure out how to get to that chest up on the ledge over there all day, and, well, I do believe your scout climbing skills are a bit more capable than mine. Might you be willing to fetch what's inside it for me? I've got a feeling it's something quite valuable. I certainly can, Mr. Star Thistle. Do you have any idea what's in it? Aye! A short ways back, I encountered a torn piece of a journal in a chest that looked just like that one up there. This journal, you see, belonged to Gingiver Green Eyes. You do know who that is, don't you? Gingerbeer Green Eyes. The name sounds familiar. Can you jog my memory? Gingerbeer Green Eyes was the brother of the cruel and ruthless Queen Zarmina. Zarmina was the infamous ruler of Kotir, a fortress located where Redwall now is, during the time of Martin the Warrior. Zarmina locked Gingerveer in her dungeon to rot after accusing him of murdering their father, a crime she herself had committed with the help of a traitorous fox Fortunata. I believe Gingerveer's journal will prove fascinating in telling this incredible story through Gingerveer's own eyes. Please, if you could get me the journal from that chest, I would certainly reward you. I certainly will. I'll be back quicker than a hair after his supper. Alright, so um, first time I played this, um, <laughs> if you've seen that, then uh, you know I just gave up on this. 
second time I played, uh, I restarted because, uh, you know, <coughs> I still don't know how to, yeah, do that, but then I figured out that uh, there's a rat down there, that all you have to do is this. Here, yes. That. Nothing else. Gonna... Uh, let's see. What that actually says here. Help picker. Yep, sure. Uh, have you brought me back Gingerveer's journal from. Yes, I, I have it right here. Looks like some old yellow parchment. By Martin Sword! I was right! It is another piece of Gingerveer's journal. Incredible. Thank you for fetching it for me. Of course, Mr. Star Thistle. But, alas, <coughs> I had hoped the chest contained the rest of Gingerveer's journal. But this is only another torn piece. I must ask one more request of you. If you'll find any more pieces of his journal along the way, please do bring them to me. I assure you, I will make it worth your while. I'll do my best to find as many as I can. That's valuable history. We wouldn't want that lost in the snow. Oh, you couldn't be more right. Uh, seeing as you've got such an appreciation for history, I would be glad for you to visit my study once you're back in Lilygrove. I've got a wide collection of other such valuables I'm sure you'd enjoy. Thank you, Mr. Star Thistle. I may take you up on that. Uh, please, dear, call me Pickerel. Uh, Stay enough. safe, Pickerel. All right, and now we're gonna let's climb up here instead. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <coughs> an entire chest or whatever it is for that smells like cat for one page. This is not where I wanted to go. That is where I went. using this rope. Good thinking. Albert? These old bones can handle that much, my good mouse. I love how he's looking better now. A bit, at least. Oh, here's where I'm missing that yam. Alright, and a lore. All right. Everyone, get down! <coughs> I smell rat. Oh no, rats! And the wind is strong here. If I stay downwind and hidden in the weeds, I should be able to get by, no problem. And if you remember this, it uh, kind of went kind of bad for me. It wasn't me. It was, uh, it, it was too free. Not my fault. Bridge wasn't strong enough. Quit making excuses. You should have checked the bridge first. Well, you never check the bridge first. Oh, quit your squabbling. No one wants to hear a bunch of babes crying all day. Are you sure that's what happened? We Just kidding. It worked once, though. It had worked once, somehow. even fall through the bridge. Ain't bridges supposed it to be... It wasn't me, you know. It was, uh, Oh, no, no, no it's overlapping. Not my fault. <clears throat> well, it wasn't strong I enough. It was weak. Quit making it excuses. You should have checked the bridge first. The... That don't well, make a lick of sense. The bridge first. Oh, quit your squabbling. No one wants to hear a bunch of babes crying all day. 
I think they might actually be changing We're each doing other our best, off now. Right, my paws are sore. Your paws are sore. <sighs> Yeah, I knew it. I oh, fucking knew it. They are sh sure that's what happened? They're changing each other off now. Yep, they are. Well, it wasn't me. It was, uh, it, it was too for it. Not my fault. Bridge wasn't strong enough. Quit making excuses. You should have checked the bridge first. Well, you never check the bridge first. Oh, quit your squabbling. No one wants to hear a bunch of babes crying all day. Huh. We're doing our best, Whip Rider. Right? My paws are sore. Your paws are sore? Oh, 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 oh. You sound like a little mouser. Is that what you are? A little mouser? How'd these even fall through the bridge? Ain't bridges supposed to be, you know, Holding stuff. Oh well, no, I fucked up. I think the wood was weak, which caused it to really. break under the weight of the. That don't make a lick of sense. There we go. Oh yeah, and that's. <clears throat> the funny thing with this is that if you do walk across, you will get here. Then you will just instantly fail. And in here is. A chest that I can't get right now. There we go, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, that happened. It wasn't me. It was. Anyway, yeah, there's a chest in there, and you can never guess. Quit making excuses. You should have checked the bridge first. I deal with this later. We're doing our best, Whip Rider. What? My paws are sore. Your paws are sore? Oh, 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 oh. You sound like a little mouser. Is that what you are? A little mouser? How'd these even fall through the bridge? <laughs> Ain't bridges supposed to be, you know, holding stuff? Well, I think the wood was weak, which caused it to break under the weight of the... That don't make a lick of sense. Yeah, they are changing each other off now. I hate one at him. Um, 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 cool. Are you okay. sure that's what happened? I hate this. <clears throat> Always something. It wasn't me. It was, uh, it, it was two for it. What? Okay, I'm just getting frustrated now. Hold on a second. It wasn't me. It was, uh, it, it was too for it. Not my fault. It wasn't strong enough. Quit making excuses. You should have checked the bridge first. Well, you never check the bridge first. Oh, quit your squabbling. No one wants to hear a bunch of babes crying all day. Better not We're be doing our best, Whip Rider. What? My paws are sore. Your paws are sore? Oh, Sound like a little mouser. Is that what you are? A little mouser? How'd these even fall through the bridge? Ain't bridges supposed to be, you know, holding stuff? Then he's there. Well, I think the wood was weak, which <coughs> caused it to break under the weight of the. A lot of time here. Come on. Sense. Turn around. There, finally. But anyway, yeah, there's a chest up there, and you can... <sighs> 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 
we went right over those rats' heads, and I hadn't a clue. Oh yeah, uh, which one is it? Yeah, you can never guess the password to that goddamn chest. Let's go. Talk to Liam real fast. Something bothering you, Soph? How are you feeling, Liam? Any worse or better? I admit, I'm feeling a bit feverish, of course. And sore. But with Albert's help, I don't doubt we'll be able to make it to the Winsome Wraith in no time. Let's just get as far as we can this evening, before making camp for the night. <laughs> scout away, my darling scout. Hmm. Oh jeez, cameras. And there's something I'm always missing in these... <clears throat> Scouting things. Are you feeling all right, Liam? Yes, yes. Don't let me slow you down. I hope you they reach for rest. Please, say something. I'm gonna catch these real fast. Uh, there's another one. <clears throat> this the last one should be here, right? There, yes. So. You can see down there, there is a basket that I somehow managed to get. And uh, the way you get that basket is... You do this. You just play the game li literally. There we go. <clears throat> I am gonna talk to the Ivy Wings, just give me a second. And you do this, this is... will stop the flow of water. Don't jump down there, you will die. And... <clears throat> now you can do two ways. One, you can do as I did. And jump down on these rocks. Or, you can uh, go in here, and uh, you can crawl your way there. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I took the hard way around. Uh, but yeah, Ivy Wings. One second. You want the cat? Sophia Rymaid, is that you? Yes. Hi, Miss Ivy Wayne. How are you? Is a surprise to see you all the way out here? Well, what do you expect? Those blasted vermin forced us out of our homes and into this cold to live like cave mice. I am positively shivering my tail off. You did say you were a scout now, didn't you? Yes, I am a scout, through and through. Then why don't you do your scoutly duties and fetch me something warm, hmm? I did see some cattails around here. They're good for sewing mittens. Uh, perhaps three should do the job. Oh, sure. I'd be happy to help. Good. I'll be here, counting my toes until they turn blue. Aww. I'll be back with some cattails as soon as I can find some. Haven't you found something to warm my paws yet? Oh. <laughs> At this rate, I'll be an icicle before night even has a chance to fall. How will these cattails do? Oh, this should be fine enough. At least enough to keep me kicking. I'm glad I could help. Safe travels, Miss Ivy Wayne. Goodbye, Sophia. Oh, if you see that wretched Ichabod on your way, do give him a scolding for me, will you? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hello there. Hello, Miss Ivy Wayne. Sophia, please. How many times do I have to tell you? Call me Belladora. Now, what on earth are you doing up Old Moss Creek? Liam and I are traveling to the Winsome Wraith. He's badly injured. Bit by scum snout. That wear it leading the raiders. Oh, no. I've seen scum snout. That monster has caused us all quite the trouble, hasn't he? Dorabella and I are trying to get to Redwall, but the journey is proving more tiring than I expected. Thank goodness we have Ichabod with us. I don't know what we'd do without him. I'm glad you two aren't all alone out here. Actually, Ichabod went ahead a while ago. 
He insisted on finding the ingredients for a campfire dinner as splendid as one we'd have back at home. He really is a sweetheart, isn't he? I'm just worried that it'll be cold out there. It really is getting chilly. I don't suppose... Well, if you happen to see him, do you think you could give him my scarf? I don't want him to catch a chill. <laughs> of course, Belladora. I'll give it to him right away. Oh, thank you, Sophia. Stay warm out there, all right? You stay warm, too. All right, let's catch on with the rest of the team. Get up without this without... The thing is, I have not the slightest idea where these might be, so, um... <coughs> I might have to come back later and just thoroughly look at everything. Sophia. I think it would be best if Albert and I stayed here for the time being. I was thinking the same. I'll investigate. Those rats certainly are interested in whatever's inside that crate. Why don't they just break it open? Hmm. Those barrels could prove useful. If only I could get to them. More rats! Although, they seem distracted by that crate. I'm sure we can sneak around. And this, this is the thing, you can wait here for as long as you like. But unless you do this, he won't move unless you do that. That's kind of, um, I don't know. Feels like a design flaw, but go ahead. Yeah, I have been up there. I bet Tassa passed by this way. And it seems to be always here that the the uh, the flower disappears. Uh, yeah, and there's Ichabod. Hey, Miss Raimid. Have you come to rescue me again? Are you in need of rescuing, Mr. Cornsilk? No, I most certainly am not. Belladora asked me to give this to you. <clears throat> huh, Belladora did. Oh, well, I uh, suppose I've got to thank you for bringing it to me. Uh... <laughs> no need, Mr. Cornsilk. Your face says it all. My face says nothing of the sort. <laughs> Do you need help, Mr. Cornsilk? It looks as though those bees won't let you get their honey. The bees aren't out now, Sophia. It's winter. Still, I'll bet there's lots of honey left inside. And I'll bet those ivy way lasses will appreciate some of that. Mm. If I say good luck... I'll get the hive down for you. I don't need your help, Missy. I'm perfectly capable of... <clears throat> Oh, are you all right? I'm fine. Just pull my shoulder. Ugh. Okay, then. Have a nice day, Mr. Cornsilk. And there is something helping with... Don't let him know. Yeah. Uh, all the time I've been playing, I just <clears throat> shut it down from where, you, where he can see me very well. Mr. Cornsilk, I see you made it safe out of the catacombs. Whoops. Oh, of course. Uh, what's up here? Uh, now where is it? There. I think that should do it. out there. 
I think I he might still know. I hope. Look at the bridge and a few other things over there. Uh, and they will come in a moment. This one is a bit larger than the last. But if my nose is right, the campfire is very close. Will your shoulder make it, Liam? Well, feels like it's still attached. <laughs> I'd wager it won't fall off until at least tomorrow. If it does... I can use a good thread and a fancy stitch to fasten it back on. Oh, I swear, <laughs> you two will drive me to the dark forest before my time. Let's go then. Whoa! Oh. 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 No one heard that thing <laughs> at all. Oh dear, Liam, are you all right? I didn't realize that would be so rough. I'm okay. A little battered, but nothing a river mouse can't shake off. I'd go so far as to say it was almost fun. More rats. <laughs> you two, wait up here until I give a signal. And that's Crates the thing and barrels the thing and rats. See. I've done all of this before. Think like a scout. Think. Eh, yeah, seems to not fall damage at all. Think like a scout. Think. No, if I do that, it will end up somewhere else. Start a fire and make some soup. I've been gathering some mushrooms and fruits. That's brilliant, Albert. I'm starving. Right. Now you can't get out of here as well if you want to, but uh, you know, we have nothing else to do here, really. Yes. This one I might have to do again, like uh, <clears throat> that damn valley, if I just paid attention. <coughs> there we go. The warm mushroom and potato soup filled their bellies and provided a sort of comfort. For there is no challenge in this world that does not seem just a little easier after a good hot meal. Thank you, Albert, for collecting all this. This is just what we needed. I'm glad to be able to help, young scout. I know you're anxious to see your Liam well. 
and taking an aging tailor on your journey isn't exactly the most efficient choice. But I'm grateful for your help, and I hope I have helped you well in return. Thank you, Albert. Truly. Well now, my love, it certainly proved to be a good choice to bring Albert along, didn't it? Yes, yes. Go ahead and rub it in. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm sorry for my hesitation. I know we're supposed to serve Woodlanders, Liam, but it's just... I'm frightened for you. We have got to get you to the Wraith, and soon. We will. Thanks to you, you marvellous scout. Just remember that my life isn't the only one that matters, right? Oh, don't talk like that. Sophia, we're still scouts. I know. We have a duty to help. And sometimes we need the help in return. We couldn't have gotten far without Albert today. Oh, that's untrue. I suppose you're right again, the M. River Mouse. And with a newfound hope unfurling in her chest, Sophia allowed herself to drift into sleep. What was that? Sophia strained her ears, listening for the sound. Scouts call. But three. Three leads danger. Before Sophia was a scout, a whistle for danger meant it was time to flee. But now, with her initiation upon her, she felt a responsibility. If a fellow scout was in danger, she had to help. She didn't want to leave Liam, but neither did she want to wake him. He desperately needed rest. Perhaps she thought she could investigate and then return to make a plan. If I could find a high vantage point, I can use my weight glass to see who's in danger. Alright, got some big man, big ass and berries. <laughs> big as your head, Sophia. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, first time playing this, that's one of. Two jams. I don't remember where. Oh yeah, the the second one is up the tower and down again. Down right there. No, that's uh, that's the uh, memoir. No, where the hell is that? Wasn't it somewhere else? I guess we we find it. I figured it out. I remember. Never in a lifetime. Sophia's heart dropped like a lead weight. It was Tassa. Sophia knew she should go back to her camp and make a plan with the others. But if she left Tassa alone, who knows what would happen to her? There was nothing for it. Sophia knew she had to help Tassa somehow. The thing is, when I was playing as Liam, Freebie wouldn't show up. <laughs> so it just shows this open... Uh... Yeah, empty platform. Let me go, you barbarous brute! Oh, brigands, thugs, catherines. Not a hint of honor to be seen. Oh. Mm, oh, skirmishes <laughs> south by southwest, another advancing upstream. Squads flanking east and others upon the escarpments. <laughs> what are these raiders about? Who oh, commands them? What could possibly draw these filthy vermin to my hunting ground? <laughs> Lily Grove. They're attacking Lily Grove. Check your swollen tongue, Mouse. Oh, the moment my cogitations complete is the moment you're unmade. I presume you prefer not to truncate my deliberation. 
Sophia's heart raced. She knew full well she walked a narrow trail along the edge of dark forest. One wrong move and she'd be supper. She would have to be clever. She'd have to be quick. The trick would be speaking to manners of honor and acting with respect. Simple utility would not be enough to impress a creature so proud. If you plan to eat me, I'd just as well get on with it. If that's no inconvenience to you, sir. Oh, really, has our repast been quite so respectful? Perhaps I'll deign to slay you swiftly. <laughs> Surely it falls on me to root these curs. Oh, and I relish the challenge. And yet the proper tactics escape me. The canopy masks their movements from on high, making my strikes inaccurate. I confess, I am vexed. I can help you. Allow me, if I may, sir, to offer my assistance, feeble though it may be. You patronize me. I just want to say I would have been dead in two seconds. <laughs> and yet I am intrigued. A beast after my own heart, perhaps. Though not my presence, of course. Your recklessness amuses me. Mildly. Enough to hear you out at any rate. Pretty elaborate. Captain, sir, your strength is mighty indeed. You said yourself, all you need is eyes. Let me sneak in and signal to you where to strike. Tis a courageous plan to be sure. Though perilous and risking much on the wee one's witness, I shall indulge this ludicrous fantasy of yours pro temporum. Succeed, and you may draw breath a little longer. Cross me, mouse, and you will witness my gizzard. And all the way back we go. I do hope Pickerel made it somewhere safe. Oops. I see the rats have moved on from the canyon. Oh, good thing. I don't think the owl would fit in there. I see them. 118th south. East at minus three. What are we doing out in this? <laughs> For the love of Nick Your gambit bears fruit, my Picayune picnic. You have earned your next breath, but not my certitude. Why have you come? Ooh. I seek assistance, sir. My betrothed lies poisoned and dying beneath the mighty juniper. We make haste for the winsome wraith. The shaman, hmm. to seed your beloved's fate upon the impious alchemy of those shifty stoats. You will need assistance, indeed. Notwithstanding your purpose, you irrational insect, I ask in <clears throat> earnest, do you know who I am? Not a clue. My need is great. And while you, Owl, whoever you are, may be larger than me in body, you are no greater in spirit. I tear the ears of a badger if it save my Liam. Quite so, <laughs> quite so. I see gallantry within this bantam beast before me. Likewise, recklessness, insolence, and ostentation in the main. But surely, courage. <laughs> Fascinating. 
<laughs> Perhaps I'll further query this tufted fool again. <laughs> On bosom your bloodline, mouse. <laughs> you can see my uniform clear as day. I am a scout. Not really. And that's the only bloodline that matters. <laughs> kind of hidden. Ooh, they say the blood of battle is thicker than the water of the womb. <laughs> A true scout in name and nature, accepted and benighted by names I esteem and credit. <laughs> Attend me, you flappy frump. I am content to extend our entente. I suggest you not take my grace for granted. Yep, you saw that, right? The rats were back alive. <laughs> so, if it wasn't here, then it was the next one. <clears throat> and he is flying around, but I can't see... There he was! Shit. It does actually exist as a model, not just a shadow. Oh no! Oh, they've captured Ichabod! 260 degrees west by minus 16. Oh, oh what's that big thing of flying up? On the Ichabod, yeah, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> we did it! Oh, pardon me? I mean... You! You did it, sir! Oh, oh, quite right, oh, quite right. Uh, you do well to eulogize your deliverer, young one, and I am not averse to adulation. Assuming the credit falls what it ought, namely upon my wraith like wings. And yet such exertions leave me rather peckish. And while you deserve a snack, I thought I saw a plump old man below the trees. I can help you find him. Oh, seduction is your strategy. Hmm. Attempting to allure my eye away from your hide to his. What reasonable ploy. Ooh. If predictable. Oh, I'll concede, comestible, that you've proven potent and deserve to draw another breath. But you remain, as before, an interloper, deserving of digestion. Why shouldn't I eat you? Because the job remains undone, of course. You've only scattered the vermin, when they ought to be fully routed. Disappointing. You seek to stall whilst deliberating on a more convincing entreaty. But nonetheless, your point is well made. <laughs> Still, I am at best irresolute. To feed or not to feed, that is the question. Whether it is nobler <sighs> to suffer the darts and arrows of thither outrageous vermin alongside this valiant yet delectable snack. Or to count my spoils now, and by imposition in it. Eat me if you must, but first, first, let's make sure these vermin never face your forest again. Let's put the fear of Martin in them once and for all. Ooh, your courage once again impresses me, young warrior. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. All in all, your metal outweighs your wit. And as one soldier to another, I salute you, we one. What you lack in breeding, you countervail with courage. Ooh. Once more into the breach, Alonsi! No idea what Alonsi means. But, yeah. I think here is where the last jam actually is. Yeah, there it is. <coughs> and there's Tosa. Good. 
The rats haven't yet seen Tussa. Does that mean that Tussa and even Freyby, when we play as Liam, is following us, or have they been somewhere else? Hold on. There! Between the ruined walls, at 102 <clears throat> east, 26 <throat> degrees below the horizon. Tossa, like, holy shit. <laughs> so, yeah, this map, it's, uh, it's a long one, too, but, you know, yeah, long maps, kind of, not too long, but, you know, long enough. To feel like you're playing. Sophia felt almost dizzy with power. Had she really just teamed up with an owl? Our transient transaction is complete, it seems. For now. <laughs> Snow's fearsome voice drew Sophia back to reality as he dropped Tassa at her feet. You and your appetizing ally would be best advised to flee with all fortitude from my forest. I can promise no immunity to those who trespass or tarry for too long. <laughs> Sophia, you shouldn't be here. I just saved your life. You're fire. They saw the smoke. What? They sent two rats to investigate. Liam's in danger. No. So that's the change from Liam and Sophia. Tassa. Faster, Liam and Albert don't stand a chance against those vermin. I tried to warn you. Oh, how can I be so stupid? A fire burning bright during a mission. If something's happened, if they're... Just go. Albert, we're too late. Why did you leave them, Sophia? I warned you. I was trying to help you. I heard your whistle. Three means danger. And, and that used to mean run. I know. But I'm a scout now. Scouts go towards danger, not away. You blanking green in a shit. What are you trying to prove? If I'd wanted you to follow me, I would have whistled twice. Twice to come. I... But... Oh... Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> now we must... Wait, look, Sophia, there are tracks. Tracks leading... North. North. They must have been captured. But that means they're alive. Then that means I have to find them. Rats or no. We'll go together. You two obviously need my help. They move through the forest as quickly and quietly as they could. Now that she had her wits about her again... Sophia knew their only chance was the element of surprise. Come on, Tassa. Stay low. It was only a few hours before they finally saw it. The mole man, Camp Silversands, normally abandoned for the winter months, was now occupied by the sea rats. This has to be where they took Liam and Albert. Looks like other woodlanders have been captured too. We've got to get in there. We need to make some kind of distraction, and then we can sneak inside. Sophia, you're a genius. I'm on it. No, we can't split up. We've got to. Leave it to me. You get in there and find Liam and Albert. Then meet me at that warehouse on the other side of camp. Oh, Tassa, please be careful. I was thinking of saying something, but it slipped my mind. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, anyway. Oh, spit it out. Well, I think she definitely notices you. Really? You know, that mousey right there has a sparkling pendant round her neck. I was thinking, what if I give it to Daisy? You think she'd like that? I know I'd like anything that sparkles. Ah, well. I think she'd right have your head like Clooney's ferret on a spear if you ever tried to give it to her without first impressing her, you know, with your, your muscle. Yeah, one moment, Fox Club is gonna... It 
Brett, you can steal the key from those rats. What's that? A key here. with these. Sophia, you've saved us. I can't thank you enough. I was afraid we'd never get away from those rats. Oi, Foxglove. I would have gotten us out of there eventually. I was working up a plan just when Sophia showed up. <laughs> Did either of you happen to overhear any rat chatter? Maybe something we could use against them. I was trying to drown out their voices. Gave me a headache how they'd never hush up. I did catch a bit, though. The two overseeing us just now are named Blood Whelp and Tooth Rip. They're always together. Seem like two peas in a pod. Although, poor Tooth Rip gets bullied by Blood Whelp any time this doe named Daisy Mace comes around. It's like he's trying to impress her. Oh, I can't believe I feel bad for a rat. But I do. Maybe rats just have different standards of friendship. <laughs> I don't know. All creatures need love and companionship, don't they? I say they're just a bunch of heartless brutes. Oh Daisy God. Mace's cheese leaf second in command, I believe. Or at least she's above the rest of the rats. Watch out for her. She has this glint of pure nastiness in her eyes. That scared Brunach stiff. And me, too. Though... She did have a certain feminine charm about her I almost envied, like a femme fatale. A femme what? Femme fatale. Just something I read in a book. Ah, that's a necklace. That's kind of what they were talking about, if they took that again to Daisy Mace. <clears throat> and I think that's all I care about. <clears throat> Did either of you happen to overhear any rat chatter? Maybe something we could use against them. I was trying to drown out their voices. The two overseeing us just... Okay, so that's the same. I don't know. I say they just... What happened back in Old Moss Creek? It must have been terrifying. Oh, it was. Those rats aren't so terrifying. They're just a bunch of lugs anyway. Don't listen to him. He was trembling at the first sight of a rat. <laughs> You know how he likes to pretend he isn't afraid of anything. Uh, oh, Albert said you all left Lilygrove together, but then he got separated when a horde of rats came through. It was that horde that captured us. They showed up just moments after Albert disappeared. Oh, poor Albert. Mrs. Thatcherling was giving him such a hard time. You know how she can be. I guess you are meant to just talk just with to get away from Fox her. Of and of course Albert would never admit that. No, never. Anyway, I'd been hearing something moving throughout the woods for a while, but Mrs. Thatchling kept telling me it was just my imagination. Well, it wasn't. If only she'd listened to me. Fox Club has the ears of a hare, Sophia. You should encourage her to join the scouts. I'm content right where I am, dear. Did you need something else, Sophia? Oh yeah, that was what I was going to say. Thank you um, for rescuing us. One second. Truly, Brunok and I are going to find our way to the big storage warehouse at the end of camp. We heard the rats haven't found a way in yet, so we might be safe there. Oh, great idea. I'll meet you both there once I've found Liam and Albert. I believe Ichabod and Columbine are trapped somewhere here as well. Ichabod's probably having a grand time trying to fight the whole horde himself. But, well, I know Columbine isn't too happy to be stuck here in the dirt. I'll find them too, and send them your way. Then, we'll work together to escape this camp. For now, watch each other's tails. Well, yeah, that was what I was going to say. Um, Tossa has like a coat, while um, Sophia got a like short jacket. And that coat always spawns in. Yeah, like a short jacket that so kind of um, starts, you know. Yeah, never mind that. Not too important, but it's a fun detail. Oh, 
about plants anyway. And I don't need anything in there because I already got it. And amazingly, the flower ain't being turned off. But we're gonna do this anyway, just for fun. And you can actually crawl in here to, uh... They say he skinned the ferret himself while it was still alive. It's still got flesh hanging off it. You've seen Cleany? Well, well, no. But that's what my cousin French sister says. She says it Cousin was French sisters. <laughs> oh, <my God. clears throat> Oi! Goodness me! Don't hurt me! <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Sir Maul. I, I thought you were a rat. I'm a no vermin. <laughs> Well, it's all right. My name's Sophia. Well, it depends on who Come you on ask. now, we can't stay here. Mm, oh, no, I won't. I will think I'll be staying right here. Mm. I've got to get out of here fast, but I can't just leave this mole here. And the rats are blocking the way out. Unless... You're a mole. Oi, yes, I might be glimmer. Nothing gets about you, young mousy maid. <laughs> Please, Sir Glimber... I've got to find my friends. They've been captured by the rats. Then you be going on then. Mm. <laughs> I can't get, get through the time. rubble. <laughs> Your it. mole digging claws can. If you come with me, you can dig us out and I can protect you from the rats. Does that sound like a deal? Oh. <clears throat> I've got to convince Glimber to trust me enough to come out of there. Sophia could see the twinkle of fear in the young mole's eyes. But by Martin's guidance, could sense the seeds of heroism at war within him. In order to get them both safely through those old minds, she'd have to inspire courage and help sow a desire to aid and serve in Glimmer. Oh, no, 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 no. If I just stay here in this year closet, then Verma just pass on by. No need be making a move for it. Mm. You can trust me, Glimmer. I want to hide too, but there are lots of other woodlanders in this camp that need saving. And I'll need your help to rescue them. We do want to be helping other wood folk, or... Yes. Glimber seems to want to help others. Why don't you just be getting out of here yourself? Don't be wasting time here. I'm a Lily Grove Scout. It's my job to protect woodlanders from vermin. If you come out, you can help me do just that. Lily Grove Scout, or mouses be helping others, hmm? Others like me. I think Glimber is starting to trust me. Does Miss Sophie be having a plan? What plan this be, her? We need to save as many of the Woodlander refugees as we can, as well as my fiance. To do that, We've got to create enough distractions to get the rats away from them. Miss Sophie, think I can help her plan? Well, I can do my best, or... That's the way, Sophia. Keep at it. I think Miss Sophie be better off without old Glimmer. I'd just be slowing you down. I could never leave you behind, Glimmer. No matter what. Besides... I can't get to the refugees without your digging claws to help. My digging be able to be helping. You sure? Mm -hmm. One step closer. Oh, I'm too scared, Miss Sophie. I can't move my feet. Every woodlander in this camp is scared too, Glimber. They need someone to help them. You could be that someone. Mm. You's right, Miss Sophie. I've got to do something. No, I've got to help. We could help them, Glimber. Together. Um, okay, Miss Sophie. I'll trust you. Quick, to the rubble pile. Can you dig through it? I'd be good at digging. If I'd be good at anything. No. And if you fail, then the rat comes out while you still stand there and, uh, you know, it's game over. Or more rats. It's all right. Stay calm and stay quiet. I'll handle them. 
Oh, right. I'll stay out your way, her. Underground, maybe. Oh, brr. <laughs> A fine plan, Glimber. I'll let you know when it's safe. <laughs> My plan is to let you do everything. His eyes are on her even more than cheeses. What is wrong with mild taste? Pretty sure that's the only, like, Any model that, that you know, really, like flesh has got something wrong I don't know, dress like a woman Ice. or female, I don't know. I could have captured those wretched Lily Grove mice long ago when I believed this odd. With you by my side, Oh, and um, that model does show up on the uh, Whip Rider uh, when, once we get back to uh, the uh, credit. That is. So it's kind of a long time until then. Back in my day, we had proper loot, not this garbage. So yeah, he is the ground. He is the groundkeeper. Can I just have a shout with him? I think. Grab that. Thank you. Hey, Glimber, do you mind if I ask you some things as we move along? Hang in there, no, Ichabod. Well, not at all, and Miss Sophie. Other. What you be wanting to know, her? Glimber, what are moles like? I haven't met as many as I'd want. Uh, moles be like moles, Miss Sophie. Holy shit. <laughs> what didn't I think of that? Um... I don't think I ever seen him this happy. Holy shit. Despite us all being woodlanders, I don't know much about mole culture. We being quite simple folk, really. <laughs> mm. Don't moles do a lot of construction work too? Building foundations and whatnot? Oh, yes sir. -er. I've always been in the mining business. My old pops used to dig out some of the buildings at Villages and even Redwall. Or he'd be a popular mole when he was still around. Or lots of woodlanders be asking for his help in building their homes. I remember a mole coming to help us build our farm. But I was just a tiny dibbon. That may have been my pops, sir. Oh, was a good mole, sir. I do miss him sometimes. I miss my father, too. Is it common for moles to mine? I mean, are there other mines around? Sylvie Sands be the only mine I've ever seen with my own two eyes. Or, but I know four moles be travelling round the many various mining camps all over, I do believe. All moles be learning how to mine from just the dibbins' eggs, though. Because digging be what we be doing best, and loving best, or... I wouldn't want to be clawed by his claws <laughs> at all. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about So, <coughs> Glimba, what exactly were you doing when I found you? Oh, I was hiding from the vermin core, sir. What else would I be doing? I mean, there aren't any other moles here. What is this place? Can't Sylvie Sands be a mining camp course? Um, what is it you do here at Camp Silver Sands, Glimba? That and be depending on the season, Miss Sophie. Or, mm. Yeah, we're going to ask him about winter. What about winter. now, in the winter time? I be the winter groundskeeper here at the camper. So I be protecting camp from them nasty thievesies and squatters and making sure the gear doesn't be icing over. Nasty thieves? Like rats? Oh, or yes, some, I suppose, like rats. But there's nothing Merch No Mole can do against a vermin horde. Uh, we should possibly be looking for more of them mousy refugees, Miss Sophie. Or, so we can be getting out of camp as soon as possible. Yes. Let's find Liam and get out of here before the rats catch us for good. Uh. Oi! I didn't want your help. Mr. Cornsilk, you are in a cage captured by rats. How'd you get here before us anyhow? Weren't you just in Old Moss Creek? Never mind that, Sophia. What do you want, eh? Come now. Don't you have any grasp on what's going on here? Of course I do. Don't I always? Huh. 
I remember being told as a divin stories of vermin invaders. But they just seem like old fairy tales. Never mistake a fairy tale for fiction, Sophia. Any mouse who doesn't prepare himself for the worst is a fool. Have you heard anything that might help us out, Mr. Cornsilk? Anything the rats have blabbered? Only too much. <laughs> Watch out for the big doe, you hear? She's a mean one. Daisy Mace. Looks like the second in command, and if you ask me, she's got what it takes to move to first. I might have heard her suggest that was her plan. You aren't sure? Well, she was far away. I haven't got the ears of a hare, you know. It seems no rat is loyal. The two overseeing me, Whiprider and Greybones, they're looking to defect from the Horde. Maybe start their own home. But they'd be a fool to try and trick Clooney. Who knows? Clooney? Did you say Clooney? Well, of course Clooney is behind all this. Who else would start a war on Redwall? <laughs> Clooney is a myth, Mr. Cornsilk. A story to scare Dibbins. What in Martin's name are they teaching you all in school these days? Nothing I remember being told as a Dibbin. Stories of vermin invaders. They just seem like old fairy tales. Never mistake a fairy tale for fiction, Sophia. Any mouse who doesn't prepare himself for the worst is a fool. What's this you're bothering me about? We've got Sorry. more to do, you fool of a scout. Let's be off. And let's just have a quick chat with this Sophia, one, Sophia, why, <clears throat> maid? I never thought I'd see you all the way out here. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you for helping us. I'm doing my best, Mrs. Thatchling. I'm glad to see you well. It's such a disgrace. These nasty pirates have washed onto our shores. Completely ruined my weekday plans. But really, I am so proud of how you've grown. Of course, Mrs. Thatchling. Now, can I ask you a few quick questions? Be quick about it, dearie. Mrs. Thatchling, can I ask what happened to you and the other lily grovers? How were you captured? Oh dear, it's a long and aggravating story. Where to even begin? Oh yeah, this is the one that actually, you know, ignored the foxglove that no, 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 it's just your imagination. Uh, I hope you haven't been too badly mistreated here. Making a doe dirty her dress is always a crime. <laughs> I don't know how you young and stand those pants. But I will admit you look absolutely charming in your scout's uniform. Oh, if only your father could see you. Anyhow, we were forced to push around these ridiculous boxes as the rats gathered anything half useful they could find. Hmm. What is it you're fixing to up? I was looking for airdrops. Right, right, dear. Or, yeah. Air, yeah the Fox, Glove and Brunak are making their way to the it. warehouse at the end of the camp as we speak. You two go meet up with them and wait for us there. Aye, aye. Why don't you read us a bedtime story and tuck in our quilts too? Oh, you hush, you old grump. We'll head there straight away. Do give those horrible rats an extra dollop of stink eye for me, young scout. In there uh, are a few things you can get, like um, one of these kitty cats um, <coughs> journals. And I think I smell else. fresh air up ahead, just across this pit. Oh, bruh, we don't like being up quite so high, Miss Sophie. Oh, Klimber, it's all right. Look. It's a nice, safe minecart. Nothing to be afraid of. I promise I won't let you fall. I suppose I could be braver. I'd better make sure this track is aligned properly. Oh, we had Echo for once. Yeah, well, if you remember first time I played, that didn't go too well. I shot it and I shot it again. And <laughs> hey, his nose isn't, you know... Flat for once. Cool. Also, I didn't see the um, that there's uh, you know arrow over here. Safe and sound. 
Or we don't be liking that, no siree. Come on, let's keep moving. There, if you shoot this again, then <coughs> it will spin around. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. Another cart climber? Uh, where will this one lead? Er, uh, I've been using this one in a long while, but she'll be leading right down young campberries and moles live in the summer. Oh, oh, in that warehouse your mousy friends be heading. No. That's got to be where Liam and the others are. We haven't seen hide nor tail of them on this end. Oh, brr. I don't like this. I don't. Well, you don't have a choice in the matter. Liam had a, was really screaming when he was going on this one. And talking about Liam, <laughs> there he is. He managed. <laughs> you didn't tell me the rails were out. Well, I didn't know. You're the groundkeeper. You're supposed to know this. Oh, I, 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 I don't think I can do it. No, not after that there cart ride. Badger waffles, Glimba. We are so close. Liam needs us. Er, uh, I can dig through here, actually. <clears throat> so be quite diggable, but I don't think it'll be sturdy enough for you to be following. I'm sure I can make my way through the canyon here. I'll meet you on the other side, then. In two shakes of a squirrel's tail. What's wrong with bachelor waffles? I've never eaten them, but, you know, they can't be worse than... Yeah, and there he is, swimming along. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is like pineapple on a pizza. Not that I have any problems with that. Uh, not my favorite, though. Uh, let's see. We wanna go. Where do we wanna go? Oh yeah, riddle number two. By the way, I mean, let me just get out of my way to do that. It's right here. And you shoot this one. That opens, and what you find is riddle number three. So now I've done that. And now what? Now I need to get all the way back over here again. And up here. <gasps> Got Yeah, and that thing will take us uh, there, I believe. I haven't used that path in a long way, though. So, um, and you can actually do this. <laughs> so. 
a nif while and you will just gl kind of glide. <laughs> and it doesn't go any faster though, but you know, it's a fun thing to do. <coughs> I do believe there was a spyglass thing somewhere. Hello. Albert! Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Are you hurt? We woke to the sound of rats surrounding the camp. They had us bound and gagged before we could hardly try and fight back. Were they the same rats you saw passing through earlier? Yes. Led by that large one. Cheese thief. You already did. The one who's that. interrogating Tell me Leo. something else. Leo's wound okay. I know nothing Is about. he getting worse? Don't sass me, you rotten He's little mouse. I know what you think. You I think you're such a clever little critter. Just like the rest it of you. It was getting know. worse yesterday. And it's certainly not suddenly better now. Not with all this mind dirt getting into it. But now isn't the time to be chatting, Sophia. You must hurry to Liam. Fox, Club and Bruinock went to the pantry. The rats haven't found a way in yet. I'll save Liam and meet you there. Hurry! And if you're trying to follow them... You're kind of gently kicked out. I, I do remember there was a spyglass here somewhere, but you know. If we don't gather enough supplies, Prunie's gonna have all our hides, you lot. Is that what you want? Uh, let's see. I don't really remember how it was you did you this, but. You can start here where I it was right on the tip of your tongue. don't really remember. What's this one? Which leads all the way there. I don't know anything about it. Liar! And it's this one, I believe. Oh, what's that? What did you say? He said, "Ow." And in order to move that one, we actually have to get all the way back. And ain't nobody coming to save you. Yeah, even if I did tell you, <sighs> you wouldn't let me go. I always keep my word. Though it doesn't look like you'd get far on your own. Haven't you noticed how bad you reek? Like scum snout. I don't know anything about any key. <laughs> you scum snout told smells. Me that. <laughs> tell me something else. About any key? I know nothing about. Don't sass me, you rotten little mouse. I know what you think. You think you're such a clever little critter. Just like the rest of you woodlander fools. But it was all too easy to burn your precious homes to the ground. You're really just a shallow, pathetic species that deserves to lie in a one. pit in the mud. And that's where you'll be once Or maybe it wasn't. <coughs> I promise it. <laughs> yes, that one. Now, I'll let you go. But first, you've got to tell me what your mousy uh, captain did with the key. I told you already. That I don't one. Know about it. Was I don't quite remember, but you, you're not supposed to open everything. That if we don't gather enough supplies, Prunie's gonna have all our hides. Is that what you want? I don't remember if, now, if it was this one too, though. But But the one you have to open is this one right here. That one. You need to open that one all the time or you won't flow. I should have practiced this one more. Hold on, the rope fucking disappears. That one. And no, you can't shoot it from here, which is completely ridiculous.
Which of those two wasn't? enough supplies. Clooney's gonna have all our high you lots. Is that what you want? Okay, let's check again. So that thing is carrying it <clears throat> this way. So there. Don't lie to me, Mouse. I know the scouts are moving the key. I told you already. I don't know anything about it. Okay, so this one shall be open. What did you say? Hmm. Oh yeah, and there's all these leaves you need to think about too, so... That will carry it that way. Carry it. <clears throat> Alright, hold on a second. No, there's leaves there. Okay, so that one... That one... me you rotten little mouse i know what you think you think you're such a clever little critter just like the rest of you yes, down there i remember when you know before starting this okay it was a few days ago but okay, this way Gonna tell me what your little mousey cat did. There we go. Finally. Don't lie to me, mouse. I know the scouts are moving the key. What's that scent? Ooh, it smells like me mum's cooking. No, you idiots. We ain't leaving the mouse a scout. Just a bite. I'm starving. You blockheads! Don't eat all of it! <laughs> Food is more important. <laughs> Sophia! How did you. Sophia! Where were Liam tried all the time? to distract him! Oh, Liam! I am so glad you are here! I should never have left you alone in the forest! Are you alright? I'm alright, Sophia. Really? How'd you trick the rats into leaving? Let's just say Tusser is quite the trickster. Now, come on. Do? We've got to get up the ladder to the pantry. Anyway. I'll get those mouses if it's Damn, she was fast. Alright, this one I had a bad memories with, or... You know, should take Tessa. eight minutes. Oh, your distractions worked brilliantly. Well, don't celebrate just yet. We've got um, to get everyone out Miss of the Silverstand without being well, seen. We don't mean be interrupted. At least we're but... safe here for now. What was that? Is that a, a battering ram? Didn't you see him building it, Miss Sophie? No! Why didn't you tell me? Sophia, we've got to get everyone out of here. No. How? Back the way we came? We, we caught her. We can't go that way. The rats will expect There'll it. There'll be a ladder. Well, I don't know any other way. Sophia. Huh? Don't you think... Don't you think Glimber, who lives at this camp, might be able to tell you exactly what you're trying to figure out on your own? Not to mention... 
He's been trying to get your attention since you started talking. Oh, I don't mean be making any domestic squabble. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Liam. Glimber. Glimber, do you know how we can get out? Well, yes, and me, Sophie. There be another ladder at ye for any ye pantry. It'll be letting out of their back, so no vermin to be seeing us. Another ladder? That's perfect. I suppose we ought to head there straight away. <clears throat> These rats have made enough of a mess of our lives. We think it's time we strike back. Uh, what? We don't have time for that. We discussed it long before you arrived, young scouts. This pantry is full of supplies the rats will use against other woodlanders. Supplies Lily Grove could use to fight back. That door is made of solid oak. It'll take them a moment to break it down. We can help. So, Lily Grove uh, needs those supplies. I suppose we could snatch up some of the supplies on our way to the ladder. You scouts can tell us where to go from up here. Okay. If you're all determined. I think they do be, Miss Sophie. But my priority is getting everyone to the ladder. So don't fall behind in the name of looting, right? Now, let's go. Everyone, stick together. Well, I'm a quick shot with Liam. Let's show those rats what happens when you mess with Lily Grovers. Damn, he sounds sick. If an obstacle comes into our way, we'll take care of it, no problem. Uh, we're not gonna talk to him right now. Or you, we gotta just have you teleport down there instantly. There's an achievement for this, but I don't really bother with it. <laughs> I guess these guys just loot everything. Uh, you know, on their own or something. <laughs> okay. Fish? Ah, those moles sure know how to preserve a trout. A scout at the front and a scout at the back. Actually, do it. <laughs> yeah. Not to worry, Mr. Forbrow. I've got it. to looting instead, by the looks of it. Where are these whelps keeping the good stuff? Don't worry, Captain. They won't get far. I smell some over here. They smell of brine. Wait a minute. They smash the pickles. Why would they do that? <laughs> Upset there were some smashed pickles. Oh, no. <laughs> Is pickles, Is smashed pickles good? Boom. Dead. Uh, 
Yeah, first time I've taken no, this no, path. And funny how, <clears throat> you know, I guess it came in from both ways. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And up here is not up there, but some of these barrels be empty. <coughs> We're gonna be real careful not to press S. We're gonna drop it. And here is where the second second ring comes. I believe you have to read that roam up there. And I believe was you can figure that out on your own. And you will get this one, which I haven't figured out yet. So, uh, yeah. I need those marks. So one or riddle I haven't figured out. Here, Marcy, Marcy. Ouch! Oh! Everyone, stick as close to each other as you can. Help each other along. Follow me. Wait, you're still alive! And, and now, the mice are getting away! Ponte Dario. Well, yeah, I guess if you don't speak to everyone or you don't know, care about uh, you know looking for stuff you can be you can be in and out in you know less than two hours find those mice find them where do we go now ah uh, miss Sophie, they be this here lever over by gam and er if he be pulling a lever he dam be opening up you mean the dam will release the river and the river will flood the camp. Purr, boy, okay. And I suppose it'd be sweeping all ye rats away. What you think? Yes! Uh, Glimba, you're a genius! Oh, her. Up there! Don't let them escape! Pull the lever! I must say, some of these the rats kind of look like they enjoy it. <laughs> like, especially that guy. <laughs> like, more annoyed than anything. Ah, fine. You disgusting dingbottoms. You snot-nosed ferrety wretches. Shit, this is You better run, it. you nasty little mouselings. Although, you might not like who you find that way, little mouse maid. Don't listen to him, Soph. Let's go. Sophia and the Woodlanders escaped Camp Silver Sands and succeeded in washing away the rats. But the scouts still had a ways to go before reaching the Winsome Wraith. Sophia feared the Lily Grovers would only slow them down. And time was of the essence in saving Liam's life. Right then. Liam, Tusser and I are continuing onward to the Winsome Wraith. I suppose you'll all, uh, want to come? I'm not walking into the house of a... Stoat! No. No. These supplies aren't going to do any good in the north. We've got to bring them back south. To Lily Grove. The scouts will have great need of them in rebuilding all our homes. It's the least we can do to help. You're sure you'll be safe? We've got each other. And we'll be careful this time. 
<laughs> we won't be caught unaware again. Especially now that those rats are all miles away down the river. Oh, Miss Sophie? Uh, yes, Glimber? Oh, I'm not much for Lily Gruff, I'm not. I'm just a lonely groundskeeping mole with no more grounds to keep her. Me a boy could be helping you on your journey. Well, uh, Glimber, it's just... Sophia, could I have a word? Sophia, if Glimber wants to come with us, we can't just leave him. We have to hurry. You're getting worse by the hour. But he's frightened. He's alone. He needs us. That's exactly it. He's afraid of his own two feet. What will we do if we're attacked? You are my priority. That is not the scout way, Soph. And you know it. <laughs> but you want to toss out there like you shall this is your here. mission. <laughs> I'll you respect whatever decision you make. Fine. You win. But with Martin as my witness, if we meet any more trouble along the way, there'll be no heroics from you. <laughs> Understand? Oh, you have my word. And so Glimmer joined them on their journey, and they all bid farewell to the other woodlanders. More determined than ever, Sophia and her friends walked north along the edge of the creek. Slowly but surely the hours ticked by, and before they knew it, the sun was near setting. In the distance, they could see that a storm was fast approaching. And when they finally reached the abandoned fishing village, it was practically upon them. Haunted area. Looks like Glimba is showing the way. Oh, well, anyway, uh, up here is the uh, last chest, I so I haven't figured out yet. Um, <clears throat> Final trial, crack the cone, and then follow the river round. Beyond the day, darkness sinks. Lower house. Don't links. This is that place. Uh, no, you can't get up here. Uh, the chest is there, and I just gonna ignore it for now. Otherwise, that is missing <coughs> a memoir here too. We'll come back to that later. Let's have a sh toss up real quick. We've come so far, Tessa. Thank Martin, we're almost to the Winston Wraith. I, I'm sorry I spat at you for rescuing me from the rats earlier in Old Moss Creek. I'm real glad to be traveling with you. It's all right, Tessa. No need to apologize. Sometimes I just like to think I can do everything by myself. And that I don't need any help. It's not true. Yeah, I know the feeling. Something else on your mind? Why do you think there's so much here? What do they have to gain by attacking Lily Grove? Who knows for sure? I heard rumors of the Matapian villages up north when I was at Debit, but... Well, I never thought what happened to us. I suppose no one ever does. Mm, let's talk about these. Tessa, I heard the sea rats mention they're sailing under the banner of Clooney the Scourge. <laughs> Clooney the Scourge? The monstrous sea rat with a poison barb for a tail? The one that punishes Devon so won't go to bed? <laughs> Fiddlestick, <laughs> he's just a myth. Are you sure Clooney's not real? I mean, up to now, we've never actually thought Lily Grove would be attacked by sea rats, did we? Who knows what else we're naive about? The Lily Grove Scouts are a precautionary group, and yes, when I joined, I didn't think I'd ever be fighting rats either. But really, Clooney's a legend. I promise. I'll even bet you my grandmother's esteemed blackberry pie recipe that Clooney's a thick. Oh, I do love that pie. You're on! <laughs> I really hope that Cheese Thief doesn't show up again, like he said he would. Me neither. But I wouldn't dwell on it, Sophia. Even if he does, you can only take life one step at a time. Of all the rats, I think Cheese Thief scares me the most. Why's that? Just a feeling, I guess. Like he's invincible. Like there's some kind of shield protecting him from ever, you know, 
snuffing it. At least around us. That's more nonsense. He did have Sophia. a thick skull. Don't worry about that old belly acre. He'll get what's coming to him. <clears throat> Is anything else on your mind? Mm, no. We should keep moving. Once we pass through Pontedaria, we'll just be steps away from the Winsome Wraith. Aye, one step at a time. Hey, uh, <laughs> Sophia. He looks a lot oh, better yeah. now than he did when we left. You sound dreadful. Don't worry about me, Sophia. Well, what's on your mind? I can't believe that disgusting rat cheese thief had you locked in a cage. If I ever get the chance, I am going to... But you saved me. And here I am. I'm just fine. <clears throat> Maybe a little woozy, but... It doesn't matter. No one should ever hurt you, Liam Rivermouse. Back there, while you were captured... Did you hear anything about what the rats might be doing here so far from the sea? What their plans are? Just a little. Something about supplies. Villages. Slaves. Red Bull. A revolt. Clooney. Clooney? Yes, but <coughs> I'm sure that was just rubbish. Maybe. Even so, if they're headed for Red Bull, they'll be right on our tails. We've got to get to the Winsome Wraith fast. Yeah, oh, Miss Sophie, wouldn't be on your nosy maid's mind. You've never really told me much about where you come from, Glimber. What brought you to Camp Silversands? Oh, her long story, Miss Sophie. Well, not very long, actually. Or... I grew up in Lily Grove, on a small farm in the countryside. My family's lived there forever, but we still struggle to put food on the table each winter. What about you, Glimber? Where did you grow up? Her. I was born in a mold town not far from camp, her. That be why I came to Sylvie Sands. Be close to Mum. You and your mum must have a great relationship, then. Her. Ever since Pop's be gone, she be all alone, my mum's her. I don't like to leave her. Since I be her only dibbing her, and she be having a condition. Making it hard for her to be walking. But but town be taking good care of her, though, her, while I be gone. We best be heading on, I think. All right. I'm not gonna bother with that shit. Tassa, you take the lead, and I'll follow in the rear. Once we reach the top, we'll be smooth sailing out of this pit. Interesting, Liam, you're first. You! I'll gun you for good this time! Let's just take a quick moment and say, you know. <laughs> that must be the most unluckiest rat in the fucking series, except for the other guy that he slapped into a bar railing back in Lily Grove. <laughs> and yes, I have completed this once. I haven't chased you this far. <laughs> so, how much was this guy on our tail, actually? Rip your limb from limb, that shit is from like sea pirates in uh, uh, you know war war band. Also, also those planks there on that bridge, they gotta be quite hard to withstand that uh, stone, holy shit. <laughs> But yeah, Liam just tells everyone to, you know, get up, I guess. 
there falls the lead and gets tight. So he's falling behind. And that's the, some rafe right over there. And if you fall down here, it's a hole in one. Don't worry though, I already have the achievement. So that's that's okay. You horrible little mousey! I'll kill you! I'll flay you alive! But Scum Snout's threats were empty that day. He survives that. Holy shit. I did it! And. and. you're all okay! Liam! Sophia! Oh, thank Martin's whiskers, you're all right! And for just a moment as he held her, Sophia's fears didn't seem so frightening after all. Come on, Liam. Let's get you out of the rain. Facing a giant weret has a way of putting things in perspective. <laughs> uh, Sophia, what is it? I think you should have this. It's the tangram. The key. Robin wanted me to give it to Valo, but... I think you should do it. What? That's ridiculous! You brought it all this way! I... I didn't realize it before. I... I, I thought I could do anything, but... Well, back there, the way you jumped into action, you put our safety above your own, Sophia. You saved us from that beast. I'm not sure I could do that. Tessa. No, it's not like... I'm not trying to... I just mean I admire what you did. I thought you needed my help, but I wouldn't have made it this far without you. You should be the one to give this to Valo. But you're far more experienced than I am. And trust me as your superior scout, Ben, <laughs> that this duty belongs to you. Oh, <laughs> how strange to think something so small could be so important. You deserve this, Soph. Now, come on, we're nearly there. What does this remind me of, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? Are... are you Valo? I am. Captain Robin Spring Hunter sent us. We're scouts. And... we need your help. Ah. Oh yeah? And just what makes you think that we'd want to help you? Liam like, ah oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you play as Liam, then Sophie and the Liam change place. So yeah, this game feels a bit longer. Yeah. Leave you to it. Yo ho, yo ho, beware of the pirate's king. Yo ho, 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 yo 
said it once before or three times but the demo of the third game got me aware of act two and one <clears throat> and no i don't think scum snug would have fit it in a a coat <laughs> if you <laughs> but yeah might have might have might have Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, I most certainly have, and uh, as I said, this game felt longer than uh, the last one, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, farewell. Oh,